hello and welcome or welcome back if you have seen me before. If you have not, I'm Katie and I am a student teacher with Western Governors University. Right now I am student teaching in um, a middle school special education setting. <laughs> Bless you. And I have been loving it so far. I do apologize, I'm using my front camera on my phone right now. I would usually use my back camera, but it was doing this weird shaky thing. It just sat there like, I don't know, it was weird. Today, I am going to show you my student teaching bag. So let's get right into it. Okay, let's get started. So this big honking thing is my student teaching bag this year. Um, if you have watched some of my videos, you know that I was not there to pick this out, but I actually am pretty happy with it. It was like 25, 20 ish dollars at Walmart. <laughs> Sorry, my dog is very intently listening. Um, and it has been actually super awesome. So let me get started with kind of the configuration of the bag. So on the outside, there's a zipper front pocket and then there's uh, two side pockets on this side. And then there's a big pocket that does not have a zipper and then two um, just other pockets right there. On the inside, it is just one big, one big open thing. And there's one zipper right here. So there's your sneak peek. So let me get started with what is on the outside. So in this front pocket, I keep my uh, student ID badge and keys. I keep some ibuprofen and Tylenol. And I keep a printer cord. This has been one of the most important things for me this year because my um, laptop struggles with connecting to printers. And with this, I don't have to be connected to any printer. I can just, um, you know, manually print things from any printer as long as I have the cord on me. So it has been super, super helpful. Um, and this is also where I put my car keys when I get to work every day. Uh, if we move on to the side, in this side, I actually just have a bunch of supplies. Oh, uh, it, it seems, buddy. It seems like it's not functioning, but it's actually functioning really, really well. Um, it's just I have pens and markers, sharpies, scissors, notebooks, and a lanyard. All right, now we move on to this side right here. And in here, I just have all of my clean masks. So any masks that, since we have to wear <laughs> face masks right now, I have been wearing um, just, you know, a good variety and every time they're clean I put them in here so that I can just grab a fresh new one every day. On the other side, um, this is where I put my dirty masks right now. Any dirty masks I have are in the laundry, um, but this is where I put those at the end of the day so that I can wash them the next day. In here, this was a um, recommendation from my student mentor. She was telling me how she um, first day of school would always forget something big. Like she'd go to school and she'd realize she forgot to put on deodorant or she forgot to brush her teeth, something like that. So she told me to pack those things. So what I did was I got like a little travel kit. This is a men's one, but don't worry about that. Um, and it has deodorant, it has a razor, it has a toothbrush and toothpaste, it has a uh, shaving gel, mouthwash, a comb, and some shampoo and conditioner, which obviously I'm not going to use the shampoo and conditioner, but I will admit this has totally come in handy because sometimes um, I'll go to work and I'll be wearing a skirt and I'll realize like a little spot on my leg that I missed when I was shaving. So, you know, nice to have those things. The mouthwash has also come in handy a few times. Um, that is all that I have in those front pockets. Let's move on to the big section. I'm trying to show an overview of this, but my back camera is shaking again, so I'm gonna have to use the front camera. Again, so annoying. Okay, now we're in the big section. So if you take a look in here, the first thing that you will find is this. This is a bunch of drink mixes. I like to have these in there here because they make it so I actually drink water, whereas when it's not there, I feel like I don't drink as much water, so I try to keep that in there. 
The next thing is some oatmeal. I have just been keeping a box of oatmeal, um, some paper bowls, and some plastic spoons with me. Uh, just so that I can have like a lunch or a snack and I don't have to think about packing anything because I'm really bad at packing things. Next I have my purse. So just like a tiny little purse. There's my headphones. I just have a small purse that just has um, just my regular stuff in there, just like um, my wallet and everything. So this I keep in here because I have to switch this from all of this stuff from my uh, work bag to my student teaching bag just because I'm doing quite a few things right now so I try to keep this in here the next thing I have in here is my student teaching binder which I accidentally left at the school today actually I think I did it on purpose but I don't have that on me but I'll, I'll usually have my big old student teaching binder in here which is thick and it is heavy so um, sometimes I leave that at the school, sometimes I bring it home, just depending on if I need it that night, or if I think I'm going to need it that night, so that is that. Okay, the next thing I have in here is um, my laptop. Right now I'm actually borrowing the, stu the school's Chromebook, because my laptop is the worst, and it doesn't work very well, and I just want to wait until I'm a teacher to buy a new one. But anyway, so right now this is the laptop I'm using. And I also have the charger in here, of course. This probably seems like it's unorganized in here, but it's not. It really, it's just fine. Okay, the next thing I have in here, I can't show you the front of, but it is a clipboard, and I just kind of have um, information on the front of this. Every time I have information that pertains to this, I add it to there, but I'm not going to talk about um, what the information is, because that's not important. The next thing I have in here is a pack of gum because um, with those masks, sometimes you're smelling your own breath for a little too long. Next, I have a bag of M&Ms. This is actually for my ratio lesson that I'm teaching in a couple days. I just have it in my bag still because I didn't, uh, I can't leave it at the school. We can't really leave food at the school because, stop it, because uh, we'll get mice if we leave anything there. So I have to take everything that's like food related home. Okay, next I have my planner, which I use constantly. I use one planner for everything. So I use this planner for my student teaching schedule. I use it for my work schedule, my EdTPA schedule, absolutely everything. So I have everything all in one place. So if I'm going to schedule, if I'm looking at um, when am I available to work, I can look on here and see, okay, oh, there are parent-teacher conferences this day. I have an EdTPA task due this day, blah, blah, blah. I can know every single thing that's um, within that. That's on my schedule. And the last thing in the big pocket is this folder. So this folder has, I'm seeing if there's any information. This folder has a lot of stuff in it. On this side, I have my B day stuff. On this side, I have my A day stuff. And I have my schedules written for A days and B days. And then um, as I'm helping in co-taught classes and everything, I just have the one folder I can bring so I don't have to bring my entire bag everywhere. So I just bring the folder and um, my laptop with me anywhere that I go in the school so that I don't have to carry quite as much. Bring um, That way I can say, okay, it's an A day. I know that I'm gonna be helping students with this packet. So here's the key for it. Here's the packet. Here's how I can help uh, and then Sometimes there's, there are students that uh, will lose their stuff a lot, so instead of them bringing things home with them, sometimes I'll collect it from them and keep it with me because I know that I'm not going to lose it, and they might. So, that's what we look at. The last section in this bag is that tiny little zipper, which I don't have anything in, so that is it for my student teaching bag. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you enjoy this. If you have any questions, please let me know. I have lots of student teaching vlogs, and I have other videos such as what's in my binder, what's in my EdTPA binder, all kinds of things. Please check them out, and thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!